Tuben. Um, it's kind of like a TubeCon or like the awards at TubeCon. So all the Swedish um, uh, YouTubers will be nominated for best YouTuber, all that stuff. Um, so these are the two outfit I'm, I'm choosing from. This is a bolero with um, like small pearls and my like safari dress, which is a bodycon like tight dress. I love flying in this one because it's so comfortable. And then I have this like uh, biker jacket, which is like um, a kilted one. So I kind of like the mix of like old fashioned Chanel, but then with like leather details. And then a long dress, really, really light. And it's like, it's short in the middle. So it's like see-through down here. I think I'm gonna go for this one actually. Hello. How you doing? I'm great. Thanks. I'm good? Yeah. I'm still not done. I haven't done my lips, my hair, my oh, shoes. No. <laughs> Come on, William. Let's have a toast. Yes. <laughs> of course. So, um, cheers for the first the good tuben. Cheers. <laughs> for the first and hopefully many more. Yeah, definitely. I hope it's fun. Mm -hmm. I hope it's good entertainment. I saw one video. Um, from like I think it was last year and um, It seemed like they had like a lot of artists at stage. So I think it's gonna be like a full-on show Yeah, I think so. So yeah, so you look dashing mm -hmm. Casual but not casual casual but not casual <laughs> uh, First I thought like, I wanted to wear a I don't know tux <laughs> Tuxedo or mm. a tie or uh, I don't know something. but I f fell for this mm? It's like, that's the problem also, we have no idea which level it's on. Mm. For next year we, we know if we're gonna like uh, <laughs> be dressed like rock stars. Or... <laughs> exactly. Wow. I think I have to take my phone and order an Uber now. Yeah. Oh my god! So this Swedish.
Swedish YouTuber Jockeboy, which is he's huge. He when he received this award, he went up on stage and proposed his world like live. It's like set live everywhere on YouTube everywhere. So that was super cool. And she said yes, which was good. Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, that would be the, a lot of like YouTube. <laughs> So um, we left the um, tube, gold tube, gold tube, and we're at an after party with the United Screens, a really, 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 really nice company um, network for YouTubers. Yeah. So, do you want to go to the the big party afterwards? I think they're really friendly here, and people yeah. seems to be really happy. And they were one of the winners here too. Yeah, and I think so. this is gonna be a bit calmer. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm up for clubbing tonight. <laughs> Look at how dapper they are, like with the bow ties and everything. Sweets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sweets. Typical sweets. Yeah. Can't you just like describe your channel? Because you Our have a channel, channel together, right? Uh, it's a humor channel. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually have some humor in English. It's a parody of uh, Bear Grylls, the English survivor on Discovery. So uh, you two Bear Grylls in Sweden, and you'll find uh, three episodes. Cool. Um, I want to see those. Yeah. <laughs> They, they're quite He's popular. so crazy. How long have you been doing that? Since 2009. Uh, I uploaded the first video in 2007. Uh, Ooh, that's like being, you know, the veteran yeah. <laughs> YouTube. There's this after party going on. We just got invited for like in two seconds and went here and all the winners are here. That wasn't at the actual show and it's they're so cute and so friendly and we're just having a great time. So this was so much better than going to the club out in Stockholm. So, um, but my battery has died, so I'm like feeling on my iPhone right now. So I'm gonna give you like a review of the whole night um, tomorrow morning. It's the day after the party. I'm up at the office and uh, Leske's here. Leske! Yo, come! Hey! Kisses from the dog. Uh, it's like Easter, so there's no one here. We're all alone. A quick review of what I thought uh, about Gultubben, so the gold tube. This was my first year um, doing um, Gultubben. I went there with William, um, there was a lot of fans outside, they were screaming, it was crazy. Um, we took some pictures um, on the red carpet. And uh, I was I was positively surprised when I got inside that I was so well organized. And um, I was a little bit afraid that there were, there were just gonna be like kind of a gala. So you just sit down in your seat and then there's an award show and you sit there just seeing all the people getting their awards and then it's done. But the mingling space before was awesome. Uh, me and William had a lot of fun meeting a lot of different people, rappers, YouTubers, um, singers, um, people working for the different networks. Uh, the biggest two one is United Screens and Splay. Um, a lot of fun. Um, it was a, a kind of like a good vibe and the award show was really well produced. Super good music. Of course it's Sweden so it's always good music. Me and William I met a super super nice girl from United Screens before and she happened to be sitting uh, just in front of us. And uh, so we jumped down, down to her seats and sat there with them. Um, and uh, afterwards they invited us to the United Screens after party. And uh, the rest of kind of the gala went to Spy Bar, which is one of the kind of clubs downtown in Stockholm on the Upper East Side. Um, and uh, yeah, we had no idea what we were expect expecting. Uh, and then we show up there and the first people, uh, person we meet is Therese Lindgren, which was the one uh, YouTuber who won um, uh, this year's YouTuber. Uh, so we were the first one to pop champagne with her and just like say congratulations because she was not on the award show and uh, it just felt very strange um, going on your first like YouTube gala and the first thing you do is end up at the after party with all of the, the big like winners and uh, of course this is Sweden so everybody's like super chilled um, super friendly and it was so much fun to talk with like uh, a mixture of YouTubers. Um, I didn't want to film on this after party because it's more of a private business space and uh, 
it's a place where I want to talk with YouTubers about the business side of things and not have to do like handle a camera all, all night and also I, I want to ask it's big YouTubers. It's easier for them to feel like you're just there to like get their face in your um, your vlog, and I don't want to do that. So I I rather just talk about like their insights and and how they see this kind of industry changing. Um, so um, I met Swedish lad. He was super super sweet. Um, really interesting conversation about like having channels in English and having channels that are international and I talked a lot with um, the staff um, at United Screens, Nicholas and uh, Amanda um, about just like having international channels or international audiences and how that changes um, what the sponsors want and uh, what kind of collaborations you can do. Um, so it's really good. It's exactly what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to just talk about the insights about doing YouTube, the insights about the industry and how it's changing, um, how it is to be in Sweden, which is like, you know, it's a very local market to have Swedish as a language for your channel. And uh, just how United Screens work with um, having um, people who do international channels versus Swedish channels. And um, they have a great studio there, and um, I have had a problem um, with finding a good spot to do my interviews. Because um, the ones of you who follow my podcast and has been doing that for a while, you do know that I do interviews with entrepreneurs and people who run businesses in the digital sphere. And uh, it's very sensitive when you do podcasting, much more sensitive than doing YouTube, uh, when it comes to the sound quality. And in my apartment, there is a big echo. And in my office where I'm here or right, right now, it's also kind of echoey. Um, but they're, they have just soundproofed their studio. So next interview, I have, I think, five interviews lined up right now. I'm going to do those in their uh, studio instead, which is great. Um, I look so forward to trying out their equipment. I'm such a tech nerd. And they bought new uh, podcast like mics. Um, so that's going to be brilliant to try out with the new... Um, the new interviews. As you probably know, I've been sick for like two weeks and have no voice. I've just been coughing like crazy. And uh, usually when I get sick, I lose my voice, which is awesome uh, when your job is to talk uh, in on YouTube, in podcasts, on stage, and uh, with people in meetings and workshops all day. Um, but I'm finally getting my voice back. You can hear I'm a bit like, yeah. It's a low voice, um, but I'm getting getting back there. But overall, amazing freaking night. I was not prepared to do, go to an after party, but we just got stuck there in really, really great conversations with uh, Finnish YouTubers, Swedish YouTubers, big YouTubers, small YouTubers, um, vloggers, uh, gamers, um, entertainers, everything. Um, but one thing I really, really liked, and uh, when it comes to the actual award show, was um, the girl who won um, Best Comedian. Because when she did her speech, um, she did the best speech all night. Um, she just said, like, I, I received this award not only for myself, but for every female comedian who wants to make it out there. Because uh, being a female in, in the like, uh, comedy sphere is super, super hard. Um, just go into Netflix and look how many uh, female uh, stand-up comedians you have there. Uh, it's pretty much I, uh, Eliza Schlesinger, she's awesome by the way, um, and a couple of more, but the rest are just dudes. And uh, YouTube, there's so many female comedians on YouTube and they're so, so good. And it's just nice to see her take that opportunity to stand in front of like a million people and just say that this is super important. And I'm receiving this award for for everybody who's, who's fighting to get a chance uh, to be shown and to show their skills in that field. And uh, I thought that was just brilliant. And um, William also made a comment that um, it was uh, pretty interesting that all of the categories, no matter if it was gaming or comedy or beauty or anything, all of the uh, nominees was a mix of men and women. Um, so that means that the beauty ones, there were men and women, and the gaming ones were men and women. 
and it was just uh, beautiful to see that they they just showed how the new generations work like there is beauty gurus that are men there are gamer you know um, gamer youtubers that are women and they are loved by their audiences um, as well and um, for me it's kind of like seeing the beauty in the world that we actually make progress um, I meet so many people who are so negative when it comes to these things but I think YouTube is a beautiful example of how we are evolving and how people are learning through YouTube partly actually um, to be more accepting and more welcoming congratulations to all of the um, uh, Gultube and winners you really deserve it and uh, it's it was beautiful to see all the creativity and uh, we had so much fun at the after party. Thank you so much to United Screens for inviting us. Um, thank you so much Amanda and Nicholas and all of you guys um, for being so friendly and so open and um, just, you know, having a great time with us. It was uh, awesome. I just want to say thank you to my Instagram followers and my Twitter followers. You guys are crazy and it's so much fun to interact with you. You're so active and uh, yeah, just you just give me so much energy and it's uh, it's so nice that you're so personal and uh, remember all of this shit I talk about and uh, you know, have so many insights um, to give back to me and I just, I just love doing that. That's why I think this is fun to do. Thank you guys for listening and watching and uh, I'll see you um, next time. Well, uh, hopefully I'll be <laughs> a little bit more more energetic. Um, this is all I can do right now. <laughs>